Hello YouTube world and welcome back my returning subscribers. On today's video it was crazy so we have a rocket on launch pad B11 and well B1 pad site and then number one for the rocket. It was a blue and white rocket called Frankenstein. It was supposed to launch first but what had ended up happening is that the red rocket that was on B13 ended up launching then it KO'd. As soon as it KO'd, then the rocket on B1 launched. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Go ahead and watch what happened here. 200, I mean, what are you going to do? You know? All right, Steve Eves from Akron, Ohio has got a rocket called Frankenstein. Five inch diameter, 11 feet tall, 60 pound rocket. It is blue and white. B11 on the left side right, is a blue and white rocket. It's going up on an in as a Nancy 3200 blue. Should have, uh, uh, looks like he's averaging, oh, 14,000 newtons on the motor. Total newtons on that one. 24-inch drogue, he's got an extra large sky angle. His main should come out at 1,200 feet. So once again, this is Steve Eves off of pad B11, blue and white rocket. And we're launching Steve in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Okay, and now to add insult to injury, that rocket that launched on B1 Frankenstein landed on the site where the team that put together that red rocket, red and white rocket on B3, it landed right there next to them. Nice big rocket coming down. Looks like Steve E's rocket coming down there. Regardless. But regardless. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. The motor burst. But see, that's what I didn't get because this launched, but it didn't fully launch. Go look at the liner. Yeah. It burst up high. Because um, okay. down here buried... Just fiberglass around the, car the cardboard tube. Yeah, I mean, I see that. It just, it was just weird how, like, this would launch. You would think it would just be a double launch, you know what I mean? But it just, like, that's one hell of a coincidence that this, this thing launched, it blew up, second one launched as well, you know what I mean? But it feels like it had two buns then pressed, right? It's like they were doing a drag race. Right. They didn't really mean to or something. Right. That's what I'm saying. So it was like one hell of a coincidence for that. And then at the same go, time, your motor burst. Wow. Go look at go look at the case. Yeah. Because it, it, it doesn't appear that... Dude, there's still a grain sitting in this. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, we're messing with one out of the case. But all the grains are still in the Let's liner. How many, uh, how many grains total was Six this? Six grains. Six? Oh, yeah. And there's the uh, delay charge right behind yeah, it, too. Yeah, I see that. Delay charge two or three of the grains. Oh, look at the... Where's Wait, Patrick? Wasn't this one He's a bonded crowd. grain? They were... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Be... Were to... Yeah, I... Uh, but it begs the question, would this have happened if the other one didn't launch? Was this you saying... You know what I mean? Oh, why? I think in your, this, your this one... Well, it lit. Yeah. yeah. When yeah you it you. Oh, it did. okay. It that's messed up. I saw it. Okay. Whoa. So you guys right here, this, the starter total. green. Whoa, starter total. Green yeah, it just it overpressurized no right there for way. some reason and blew out the side. And it blew it out. That was the freakiest thing I ever saw. No, I know, right? Yeah, I've right never seen anything like that yeah, where it turned around the flash. Look at these. these I think your altimeters are okay. Are okay. <laughs> There's another one. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a perfect alignment. Look at the damage. Nice. Jeez. I don't know why. That charge didn't go. But look, you're. That charge. Neither one of them charges. You never had a chance to go, Pat. How does your O ring end up?